Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get the AAC-58DW, the new scout truck in SnowRunner. So the task for this is called A Great Deal. You can start this task right at your garage. As soon as you pop out you can just drive up and start this thing. So that's going to have you go to the service center right here, which we're right next to. We're going to make this video a little faster because we got it prepared. Then it's going to have you go up here, which let me uh, click on this. And it says go to the airport warehouse, which is going to be right here. So right in front of us. Then it's going to spawn in a uh, service spare part right here to pick up. And then we got to deliver that to this uh, scrap metal warehouse here. And then we got to fix and refuel the AAC-58DW. And if you see, there is a Scout fuel carrier, which starts right there. It's not full. I believe it has 630 liters. But it's uh, plenty enough to fill up the truck. So all you need is some repair points, which I don't remember exactly how much. So um, we'll have to stay tuned and find out. And let's go and get this part. I'll obviously make a quicker how-to video. Um, this is more of the gameplay one. So there we go. That part is done. Let's go to the next... We're using the burlag because I know this has enough spare parts. So yeah, that is exactly why we're using it. And also, it is able to have a crane. So we can carry a single slot plus a lot of repair parts. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. We can get all, all of what we need in one, uh, one vehicle. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Pack crane, or pack truck, sorry. All right, so now we're headed back. And I will show you guys a shortcut that I took to get here. And I would recommend you taking the shortcut as well. Uh, if you look at it on the map, you'll be able to see there's kind of a clearing of trees and it just, uh, it just makes sense to go that way, so. I will stop here. This would be the route that I went before, following the main road, uh, dodging this rock slide here, following the main road all the way down and up. Uh, you could cut through here, but there's a rock slide here, which makes that difficult. And then you could go down and around the way that I went, all the way up. And this is uh, blocked off here. So you'd have to go under that or uh, from here you could go up and follow this road, which I was debating on doing this. And then following this all the way up and around, and then down, and then to there. But what we're going to do is cut through these trees. There's kind of a nice little path going right through here, so... That is going to save us a little bit of time. And actually, this might even be our tire tracks here coming through. Not sure if it is, but I don't think there's any other reason for the tire tracks to be there, so... I believe those are our tracks. That is not good. Okay, we came up here just fine. Got a little, a little bit extra load on the uh, truck with the winch, or with the spare parts, I guess. All right, there we go. Now we're down. We're actually quite lucky that we didn't fully spill our truck over. Well, I mean, I guess we did, but so just don't, don't drive as crazy as I did. You'll be fine. <laughs> 
All right, and then we'll just take a left here. And yeah, that's probably gonna save you like 10 minutes, just that little shortcut there. I actually don't really like using the burlock very much, but again, I, I picked it for the spare parts. I wanted the one slot plus the crane, because I needed to pick it up. So I needed to have one slot bed to deliver it. I needed to have a crane to pick it up. And then I wanted to have a lot of repair points. So it's kind of like, you know, you could pick a bigger truck and get a crane on there, but then you probably wouldn't have the repair points or, you know, you, you can kind of get two out of three, but you can't really get all three. It seems like you could get the bed and bed and repair points or the crane in the bed, but not the repair points or whatever. So yeah, again, that's why I chose the truck. And for here, you guys can go any three ways. Um, this hill, basically, it's like a little racing kind of track here. Um, I suggest going this way instead of the other way around the lake. But, yeah, it's a little bit uh, less muddy over here and more... It's a little bit higher ground, so it's, uh, yeah, you know, the mud usually sits in the lower spots. So that's why I would say on the north side of this lake, that is the south. And your garage is actually just over this hill, uh, by that blue tent, right in front of, right on the other side of that. But yeah, there's a contest which actually goes through here. You have to like, go down this way, turn around, go back the other way, and then turn around and go back up and over top the back way. And uh, I'm sure most of you guys did see, but there was an upgrade uh, back there. And that is one of the upgrades. I believe it's an engine for the... It's either an engine or a gearbox, because I know it's not the raised, uh, for the truck that we're about to get. The AAC-58DW. Actually, I'm going to go, I was going to go to the right here, but I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go left, I'm going to go up. Because that way, it would kind of take us way over to the other road. This one goes right to the road where we want, so that would have a little bit of backtracking. All right, here we are. The little blue tent I was talking about earlier. So yeah, just off over this, there's the garage. Pretty easy, there we go. So now we gotta go and we have one more hard spot and then we're good. The hard spot is because we haven't fixed any broken uh, roadblocks or anything like that. We've only done one mission so far on this um, playthrough or map or whatever you wanna say. Um, and that was getting the plaid, which is probably a video you guys just watched, you know, maybe a day or so or a week ago or whatever. I don't know when I'm posting them, but. Um, yeah, that's that was the only thing we've done so far in this one. So I kind of wanted to show you guys how you could get these vehicles really early without fixing anything. So I'm trying to show you kind of the optimal uh, optimal route that I would go. So yeah, up here, as you can guys, as you can probably see, can't talk, um, this is blocked. You can go up to the left or you can go around to the right. If you have shorter vehicles, you can make it under this. I've never tried it with the burlap. Probably should have tested this earlier, but I'm hoping we can fit under here. Although I kind of have my doubts.
I think we're hitting it. Oh, wait. Is it going to fit? No way. Does it fit? I think it's just barely fitting, guys. Nice, it does. I could see it, like, clipping through, but okay, that's good to know. So the burlap can fit. Yeah, that was the hardest part. Now we're good. Well, I shouldn't say the hardest part, but that was the only remaining hard part we had, so... Now we just basically follow the main road. There is a, a another washed out road up here, but nothing too crazy. Alright, now we're back on the main road, so yeah, like I said, not too bad. Now all we gotta do is drop off the spare part at the truck, which you can see the drop-off point, we're really close. Then repair and refuel, and the truck is ours, so about another minute. And I will show you the route that we went again here at the end. I'll mark it out with blue dots just to show you. So we've now found the fuel carrier. Alright, stop our engine. Let's refuel. So you need... well actually we gotta drop this off. So let's drop that off. That completes the stage. Uh, we need 51... excuse me, 41 fuel. So we can take it from our trunk repair supplies. Just to show you that we can do it with the burlap, so we have enough uh, supplies here. And then repair, we need 280. We have 300 on our roof or trunk repair supplies. So, there we go. The AAC 58DW is ours. And we can switch to it. And, uh, yeah, do whatever we want. This thing looks tiny compared to this burlap. It's like the size of its tires. But yeah, alright. Hopefully you guys found the video useful, and see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.